Hi everyone, I'm Sam. And I'm Alex. Today we're going to be talking about Unit 8. So it's called a level playing field. So we're both from the UK and we might have to A levels, which is kind of the university, I don't want to say entrance exam, but it's a test we take to go into university basically. Yeah. Now, you know, grading exams is very difficult even in the best of times. So during this pan pandemic, um, grading everything fairly and equally kind of verges on impossible, basically. Verge. This has all come to a head in the UK with a recent controversy where there was a thing called grade inflation that's mm. happened where people have been getting higher and higher grades over time. So right. it's pushed the, the grade ceiling up. Grading in the UK is a mixture of things. It's based on the, the test scores done by the kind of official grader, I guess. Mm -hmm. And also it's a mix of the teacher's grades. Um, the teachers took up 40% of the total grades actually. However, due to the grading inflation, they tried to combat this and um, reduce the 40% to 20%. Now, that means that there is an 80% of the marks being graded objectively. Objectively. As you know, we are currently going through a huge global pandemic. So with that, this whole grading system in the UK pretty much went out the window. Uh, what this means is that the 20% uh, subjectively assigned portion of the uh, tests went from 20% to 100%. Subjectively. If you were planning to sit your A-level tests or according to our UK parlance, mm -hmm. um, sit to your A-level exams, um, this basically means that there was probably going to be an inflation in grades. Uh -huh. And of course, that's exactly what happened. This year in the UK, we have had a record number of A graders uh, graduate through their uh, A-level exams, basically. Parlance. Schools have tried to remedy this by actually grading on a school by school basis, but mm. that's led to a lot of problems, which we'll touch upon a bit later. So I'm curious, Alex, when was the last time you took a standardized test? I don't know if this counts as a standardized test, but I did a teaching degree, uh, not, a, not a degree, but uh, like a course, and uh, I had to take uh, some tests uh, for that. Um, so that was probably 2019, mm. um, about around about a year ago. My last standardized test was probably A-levels, actually. Wow. It's been a long time ago. Actually, yeah, if you're just talking about sitting in a room with lots of other students at desks and everyone's quiet and they have no notes, uh, yeah, uh, my last standardized test was probably 2005. Ooh, right, yeah. a little while ago. Yeah. Unless you count, I did do a test, a Korean test uh, for, for my, when I was studying Korean, I did that. Okay. But, I, but I don't know if that counts as a standard. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> okay, well, that does it for our preview, and we will see you later in the review section. Thanks very much. <laughs>